Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to guide you through how to set up a fast and secure ZVPN UDP server and connect it using the ZVPN client app for a smoother browsing experience. Whether you're aiming for better speed, improved privacy, or just want a more stable connection, this video is for you. Open the Play Store on your Android device and search for ZVPN. From the search results, locate the ZVPN app and tap install. Wait for the installation to complete, then launch the ZVPN app. Once you're in the app, find the connection type section and make sure the UDP server option is checked. This allows the app to use the UDP protocol, which is generally known for offering faster and lower latency connections. Now that the app is ready, it's time to set up your own ZVPN UDP server. Exit the app and open a web browser. Search for UDP Custom and visit the official UDP Custom website. Once on the home page, tap the menu button and select Premium UDP from the available options. This will take you to a list of Premium UDP servers. From the list, choose the ZVPN UDP server, then tap on Select Location to choose your preferred region. Next, you'll be taken to the server creation form. Enter your desired username and password, complete the CAPTCHA, and tap on Create Server. Wait a few moments for the server to be generated. Once your server is ready, you'll see all the connection details. Copy these details carefully as you'll need them in the next step. Go back to the ZVPN app. From the side menu, select UDP tunneling. Paste the copied server details into the correct fields. After entering all the information, return to the home screen of the app and tap the start button to connect. Once connected, check the connection logs to ensure everything is working correctly. To confirm that your connection is secure, you can use the IP check tool available on the UDP Custom website to see if your IP address has changed. That's it. You've now successfully set up and connected to a ZVPN UDP server using the ZVPN client. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, commenting below with your questions, and subscribing for more helpful guides. Stay tuned for more tutorials and configuration tips in future videos.